Don't oh, sleep. <laughs> Don't worry. <clears throat> La da di. Everybody. Everybody. Good night. Good night. It's not so very good night, beautiful people. Welcome to another episode of Controversial Topics. We are your hosts, and on panel we have myself, Dario Dowie. We have Xavier Doctor, Andre Bradshaw, the Black Activist, returning guest Aretha Morris, and I don't know where we dug her up, but she's here, Natori Pottinger. Well, I put, we put her in our plastic bag and just wrap her up and put her on top of the fridge, man. Which you can't escape. <clears throat> She'll find a way. Or, or, or her boo will find a way. We won't yeah. discuss. We're not discuss that. We're not going to discuss that. Just ship it. Just ship it. <laughs> just ship it back to the side. Yeah, man. Uh, as, he's, as he always has been. But anyways. Just shift the plastic bag to the side. Anyway. Um... So, taking another break from uh, the topic of relationships because, yeah, man. you know, relationships be annoying, and both even of if us they're us happy. Are. Yeah, I mean, and Dario is still single, so yeah, that's 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 one reason too. I mean, I like I like being single. Don't judge me. But, it's right. single, otherwise, <clears throat> anyways, <clears throat> sorry. Yeah. All of my hate. Wait, wait. All of my hate. I understand. All right. That was wrong. Really All nice. of my hate. <laughs> anyway, uh, so for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a Christian. Oh, In addition to being a Christian, I am also, I would say, being groomed by my pastor, pastors to be like some form of minister or some kind of pastor in the church because I didn't see what you say, so I'm going to ignore it. No, um, but that's not yet. That's the old point. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure why or what they see in me or have seen in me, but they've been doing this for quite some time. I've preached on several occasions and know that uh, due to Corona, we, we don't have um, weekly prayer meetings. We just meet on Sundays when we can. If there's no lockdown or whatever, but we'll have Zoom prayer meetings twice a week, Tuesdays and Fridays. So every couple of weeks or so, my pastor like makes me give a word, which I did last week, Friday. Uh, some of the guys in the group heard it, they signed on. Uh, to I didn't send you a link because I forgot you weren't in the group again. Anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, she she exited herself out of the group for petty reasons, which I won't disclose. <laughs> well, that's her business. But um, so yeah, like Bradshaw listened to the sermon. I think uh, Doc and Rajiv as well. Um, uh, Tiana, who was a guest, also listened to it. Uh, she actually helped me with that message before. But anyway, that's just the brown and. We're actually going to cover or look into the topic of religion tonight. And this needs Rajiv. Yes, I'm a Christian. This really needs Rajiv. No cap. We use this needs Rajiv as the for a second. I thought you were a person. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rajiv, wait, what? For a second, I thought he was one. Shoot me. I, I, I'm just saying. For a second. Oh, Rajiv for me. I thought. Raji for me. Both. We're atheists or slash agnostic. Pick one. <laughs> okay, well, no, 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 it's fear. It's fear. It's a, it's, it's fear. Cause um, uh, even a friend of mine recently found out that I was a Christian. But the thing is that as a Christian, I do think for myself, and I just do still question the Bible daily. I'm not just, just going to take everything at face value. Uh, Rajiv, so, yeah. Like, Rajiv, Rajiv isn't an atheist person. He's just. He's not necessarily an atheist, but he does question things. And Rajiv is yeah. the type of person who asks hard questions, and when he can't get the sensible answer he needs, he is going to go off on a little rant and tirade and probably hurt your feelings. Yes. 
Myers, on the other hand, is a, a normally are two complete atheists who are very happy to admit that. There's a big start difference because they openly make jokes about everything that is God related. Who's that? Myers, Shane Methock, and Norman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, you know, he's straight up atheist. Like, I mean, he straight up says, oh, we're supposed to call him for this episode. But, um, but yeah, he was straight up telling, like, even if God exists, like, what's the point of worshiping him because of X, Y, and Z? But I mean, we're actually going to, that's actually one of the questions that uh, we're going to look into tonight. So, yeah, I'm a Christian, but by the end of this, you might wonder if I'm actually a Christian. But yeah, or if I'm actually this minister in training, junior minister kind of thing that my, my, my bishops are trying to groom me into. Disclaimer, sure. disclaimer. We are not saying you people, we, <clears throat> let me phrase that better. We're not saying you cannot have your beliefs. We're not saying that God does not exist. However, we have questions. And if we can't get these answers, we think it's fair that if church folks can question why people fornicate, I'm pretty sure we can ask, oh, then why does God exist? Why do you worship him? Or if it's even, even up agenda, does it have agenda? Why is the Bible? Yeah, like the, the questions go both ways. Like you said, don't do this because of God, but we say like, why? Or does God actually exist? And is there a reason that we shouldn't do it? Like a serious reason. I mean, anyway. I mean, the fornication was so bad, I mean, would the entire earth be populated with humans? We would have, if everyone had to get married, we might have less people on earth. Me and you wouldn't be born. Let's put it that way. All this awesomeness, you'd have missed out on Let's it. Let's be known, right? The whole, the whole, go, go forth and multiply. Mark you, if you were to take just that passage from the Bible, right? Again, so Adam and Eve weren't technically married, but well, again, marriage didn't need necessarily. And it, again, there's so many arguments that can be drawn from the whole premise, right? Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, marriage never really, and first off, all right, marriage wasn't a thing for the poor. It never was a thing for the poor. Thus, the term common law to come from. You yeah, understand me? Poor people couldn't afford to be married. That's something most people don't even know about because society, for some strange reason, buried this under, under nowadays. Oh, I, I want to be married and so on. So it wasn't something the poor people could afford. You yeah, understand? That's what the term common law, why did it come about? Because there was no legal way to protect the woman if the man, they would have 10, 15 years. And if you decide to walk out from her, there was no way to protect her. Those the term common law did come about because poor people couldn't afford marriage. Just saying. So there, yo, one day we're just going to have like one little arrow that just has Racha is about to speak facts. Please put on your 3D glasses and listen to be inspired. Racha's bits. Yes. All right. So, all right. One of the first things I wanted to ask, and some of the questions we're going to be asking for this, and then probably a couple other episodes, are questions that I've li literally been asking since I was a child, never got any answers for, and still probably won't get answers for, especially from other Christians, because they have like blinkers on or whatever. Uh, first thing. The concept of sin and the concept of the devil make absolutely no sense whatsoever. Let me explain. If, uh, if I made a calculator mm -hmm. and all it can do is calculate, it cannot make phone calls, it cannot send emails, it cannot use a flashlight, it cannot speak. And one day I decide that I want this calculator to, to send an email and it is unable to do so because I did not give it the ability to do so. Would the calculator be at fault or would I be at fault? Can you guys just answer that for me? 
<clears throat> well, the creator would be at fault, but we all know that when we see the creator is at fault, we all know people get a little touchy when it comes to that. But by that definition, though, people like to give off this aura that sin is completely wrong. Oh. Let me interject here. Ah, that is yo, we did a weird. Just take one night. So let me, let me just one. interject here. Yeah, I yeah. want to find out. Um, in the case of the calculator, you already know its purpose, the purpose that it was created for. You yes. know this for a fact. It has yes. been established. Because why I built it that way. Not, why would you not then use an instrument that would be able to send an email? People are called to serve Christ. People who are artists, people who are unskilled, and he teaches them, people who were not otherwise able to read, he teaches them through the spirit, and they get that knowledge uh, through him. So I'm, I'm just saying this, as the creator, okay. he is able, if it so suits him, to make that calculator send the email. But you as an individual, you should, you could not. In fact, would you go into the bathroom now, pick up your tissue and try to make a phone call? I think not. Okay. Anybody else, Aretha, Bradshaw, Huawei? Um, I'm reserving my comment until the notice. Okay. Aretha? That's a no. All right. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yeah, we're hearing you now. Well, um, I believe everything was made for a purpose and um, you can't some things about God and all things are you can't explain it. That is why it is so not everything will um, get an explanation to it. But that doesn't mean it's not real, it doesn't exist because you can't explain it. No, okay. Fear. But, uh, all right, so to continue with the analogy, my thing is this. If I never gave the, ca the calculator the ability to calculate, sorry, the, the ability to, to send an email or make a phone call, as a creator, as the as the as the inventor, as the creator, why would I complain when it does exactly what I have built it to do? Or in other words, if I built humans that are sub, if God builds humans that are success, sus, uh, blah, 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 susceptible, susceptible, I don't know what's going on tonight. Talk water control. <laughs> <laughs> Edit that out. Edit that out. Pull up. Pull up. Edit that out. <laughs> wow. Well, I just you said that. Right? Anyway, hey, you right right <laughs> we're going to move on. Jesus. This early. Wow, Dario. Wow, Dario. Susceptible. The man song just screaming in the place. Sir. I don't care who uh, makes me go laugh because it's funny. <laughs> hey, me they are weird. Wow. <laughs> me and my tongue. <laughs> that, that did not sound better. That did not sound. Oh wow. Let's move worse. on. Yes. Let's move continue. on. Continue from where you left off. So yes. yes. So it's susceptible. Mm -hmm. If humans are prone to sin, mm -hmm. why is it that I, God would be punishing us to do what we are built to do? Is it really God punishing us, though? Yeah, but well, why, why does he help? Right here. Yeah. Yeah. So before Yo, we move on any further. You know what? We'll get that water. So far. Um, all right, so Dario. Yeah. Humans are imperfect, right? Repeat. And we are the ones, we are imperfect. Humans are imperfect. Here. We are the ones who are interpreting the Bible to speak 
on matters of biblical nature to persons who would have no knowledge of it, right? You are seeking the path of righteousness. Um, mean that you would have entertained going to church, you would have entertained the teachings um, there of your pastors and so forth, trying to make it to a union system. What, what it is is that it's my firm and strong belief that Christians in their Christianity are being misinformed about God and his business. No when God was crucified, when Jesus was crucified, he mm-hmm. was crucified for what you speak of, the element of sin, right? Mm-hmm. He did not get crucified for my sins up to when I'm 10 or when I am 20 or my sins up to my age of 30. No, he was crucified for all, every single one of my sins, yes, yeah. before was made, conceived, thought of, even before my great, 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 great grand was ever made, thought of, or conceived. Uh, so therefore, I'm going to put it forward to our listeners, I'm going to put it forward to our panel, that yes, you may consider yourself to sin. However, in the heart of God, in the book of life, you have no sin. You simply need mm-hmm. to and on that note, what about people who don't accept Christ and go to hell? You are going to transgress daily. You need to repent on that. That's fine. So people who do not know, again, Lord forgive them for they know not what they do. And of course, God takes into account this. Because you will have people all over the world who will never hear the gospel. You understand? And that would have been of no fault of their own. And so the Lord is a merciful God. Yes? He's a merciful God, an understanding God, a God of wisdom. He already knows this. And he would have already known what their future would hold. It's just for us as persons in the know to get this knowledge to as many people as we can to help them save their souls. Okay. But your answer sounded a little too faithful and biblical. I'm looking at it from a logical standpoint. though. I do understand. I completely understand, but I have to give it from my perspective. And of course, which is why you're here. And if you have no faith or passion in what you're doing, then why do it at all? Can I ask a question? Um, yes, sir. Um, this is aimed at, um, what's her name again? It's Tori or Aretha? Tori, not Tori. All right. Our, our uh, inter simulator 3000, uh, whichever you want to choose. That's Tori. Um, anywho, not Tori. I have a question. So in the Bible, when they say, no, man should not put any image about me. So all the pastors, men of God, right? people who were theologically trained, people who are supposed to know better. But those who have and promote the idol, because it's, it's seen as an idol by biblical terms. If you have a cross, the chain with a the, with the cross around your neck, any image that that's put on display of the Christ, whether it be for Sakam, for, you know, for teaching purposes, the Bible and and the scripture says that that person is within the wrong. So I'm curious, like what what would you say to someone who say one of the listeners who likes to what they call him Jesus Christ? You know, what would you say to someone like that? Um, should they go along with the scriptures go against them first? Or, where, where it says there are no, there should be no other gods before me nor any images worshipped. So people yes. have a different sentiment on me. You understand? People have different sentiment on me. And again, God understands. Mm-hmm. So no, this is why personally I couldn't be a Catholic person. Right? Mm. 
I really literally could not be a Catholic person because when they get into their temple of worship, they bow to these images on the pews, right? I could not do it. The Bible instructs against it. As it relates to that part, again, that would have been intended to be his likeness. And I believe what the Bible is trying to imply is any other God. So your other religion who may want to worship a cow and grave an image onto a cow, any religion with snakes and so forth and whatever the case is, it mm -hmm. would be speaking to those grave images. Um, as it relates to... We're not going too far in the rabbit hole here. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're going off track, that's why. Right. No, because, no, I mean, I mean, there is an argument for the challenge, what she has said, but like you said, but I, I, get, I get your premise still. You know, there's an argument to challenge this, but again, we well, said we're not going down the rabbit hole too far, so take it for the day. But I get what you're saying. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I kind of lost track of it. Uh, but so the main question, main thing was uh, why? Okay, so basically, we're asking why is sin a why is sin a thing? Like the concept of it, like because again, I mean, if 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 he made us with the deficiency, why does he complain that we have the deficiency? Why do we get punished for having a deficiency minute, that he repeat? Um. When, can I stop there? Yeah, yeah. Stop you there. All right. We weren't made made with a choice. Thus, we weren't no, made with robotic. Robot were born in sin and God shaking iniquity. Want, God never want ro robots, so he gave you a choice. Either you do what he has ordained to do, or you do something else. Just like, yeah, the enemy, he decided for the otherwise. So it's not that he said he created sin, but he said, you have a choice. Either you do good or you do evil. You will decide for okay. the evil. You're not in his in his um camp. You're in the other camp. You decide the good. You're with him. So it's not that him creates so, uh, him. To yeah, as soon as I finish, uh, I take a question first, Dario. Okay, so you say we weren't originally born with sin, but like so. Let's so let's say all right, we got sin because of what Adam and Eve did. Fine, but why are the rest of us being punished for what two people did? I mean. There are other gods, like in like other pagan gods from in the Bible, like yeah, pagan, yeah. who require well, no, who required child sacrifices. What if we were to hold the Christian God accountable for what other gods did, in the same way that we are being punished for what the other other human beings did? No, oh, better yet, uh, uh, better, better, better keep it a bit nuanced and towards the humans and just okay. this singular God. So, okay, we should follow follow. Or God, and we should not live a life of sin. Cool. What happens to those who don't fully commit to living for God, but they don't agree with devil, the devil or whatnot or whatever hell they think is real, but at the same time they are still going to be punished for not believing in said God. Am I the only one who sees what I'm getting at here? Because the way it seems. You believe in him, or you might or might not get to the promised land. You're in between, or 50 50 chance you go to hell, go dead, or you go up in a promised land for go get tested again. Don't believe you go straight to hell, and even when you fulfill yourself and say, Yo, I don't care, I'm going to hell, you're still condemned because you want to go to hell. hell how does that make sense? I don't know if it's just me, but I hear people say that, Yo, give your life to God. And what if I don't want to? That is a choice that I'm making, but yet still you're going to condemn me for my choice. I'm still just pointing out the fact that it's a whole misunderstanding, a whole misconception of what sin is and how you oh, Sorry, in the fun? If I'm... I hear like breeze, you're outside? No. Okay. I don't hear it anymore. All right. 
All right, so I'm saying there's this whole misconception of things being held against you. And this is what pastors are teaching. And But that's know, what the Bible says. I'm saying Unless yes, you misinterpret that something. That is, oh, yes. That we yes, well, that is the case. Yes, can you agree? Can you agree as a person who attends church that the Lord died for your sins? Yeah. How much of your sins did he die for? It's all of my sins, but I'm not talking about, talk about the root cause of it. Because, I mean, I understand what essentially, you did, I mean, essentially my sins, sins didn't come from me. It's not like I created myself and said, okay, I want to be born in sin and shift in iniquity. I understand. I that didn't create myself, so I can't I'm saying that. if if the if in the same way that he gave me a heart, a head, a personality, a soul, whatever, why did he put sin in there as well? And then right, now he's so complaining I that I have this in me and I shouldn't. But he did what he put it there. That is what I'm saying. Well, at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is this everything happens for a whole reason, and of course. You are within your ambit to question God. You are within your right. Um, yeah, in but as in... To try to find out. And if you really want to find out, I think you should take that. That is what that. we're trying to find out. I think you that should... That is what we're trying to find out. Which is what I would establish that, yes, it's prayer. there. But like, why do you and think it is there? I pray that you are spirit-filled, where he will actually speak to you in the spirit. And give you the answers that you deserve. All right. The answer why slavery did exist, but you know, let's not go there. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, we well, already established that, but just want uh, like get like pick your guys' brains. Uh and and Minister Aretha is just so quiet over there. My God. Me what? Yeah, just, <laughs> yes, I'm Minister Arif, I know you know you go to church more than me, ma'am. Don't no, don't no, don't no pretend, go no front. I'm quite sure that everybody, every single person, can speak to an instant in their life where God literally moved mountains between life and death miracles. So we do not question his existence. We do not. I'm oh, questioning his work. That is a existence. Oh no! Don't question anything. Be a blind sheep, my friend. No, I've We're never been, and friends. that's one of the reasons why my friends actually thought I was an atheist. Because as a Christian, I still question time. everything. Over the period of time, like a Chinese telephone, the information is going to vary. But you still have to look at the basis of the fact. No matter what people say, the basis of the fact is this. That men were created, men went away, men went against the word, the commands of God. And even in your life now, if you yeah. make a legislation or you make a rule and you communicate that to a people and you inform them what the repercussions would be, because he did not at any time punish anybody without letting them know what would be the follow. Right? When mm -hmm. he made Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden to not eat the fruit, he told them that they would surely perish if they ate the fruit. Right? So they Yeah, he said fear, they, not me. He had fear warning that they would perish. Right? And just the same way um, in which they would have had fair warning. We too have fair warning. What are we doing with this warning? Are we going about evangelizing and letting the people Pull up, pull up. Tori, 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 Tori. Yeah, preach. Tori, <laughs> I can give you an argument that kind of kills part of what you say, what he does warn. Remember that, remember that part in the Bible where that guy was asked what God commanded him to have sex with his brother's wife because he died in war and he wanted the brother's lineage to continue. 
God never told him that he was going to kill him if he did not do the act. And he did the act. He just, he just couldn't bring himself to climax inside of the man's wife. Because he knows him as his, his brother's wife. So he pulled out and he, he, his semen hit the floor. And as it hit the ground, God struck him down. Again, there's so many arguments to be held, but I, I, I'm just saying. Just. Yeah. Like, you kind of preach, and you go off track. Like, all right. Mm, how can I put this? Way she needs to get her point across. Who knows? If you, yeah, if you could take away what you have learned, like, you're... Your thoughts on the on, on this as Tory, not as the not as Tory, not Tory the Pottinger the Christian, but as not Tory Pottinger the person, just the human being. Leave the Christian out of it, leave what you know about from church out of it. You as an individual, why do you think sin is a thing? If if you or if you we can have think, to think, think because again it's a it's a control measure. So what if government never had the law? Say you're going to be punished. It's a control measure because yeah, but that makes no sense because it still makes no, sorry sorry for cut you, but it still makes no sense because government are humans. They have limitations. God is God. He doesn't. But so it's, if it it's still kind of makes where, no sense. If it's a case where you were never taught that, hey, you're sin and you're in the wrong, you were never taught this, right? And you go about sinning, 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 or doing what would equate to a sin, and nobody said, hey, Dario, if you continue to do this, you're going to be shut down by God or you will not make it into heaven what would you do would you not carry on doing what you're doing yeah because but there is no wouldn't be a thing, and there wouldn't be a heaven or a hell the issue the issue is people are being misinformed because they have to perpetuate that you have sinned to make you basically be controlled they have to perpetuate that lie. We have no sin because they would have been cleared. From your birth to your death, you have no sin because God already paid for them. So exactly how do you have sin? You kind of lost me, but... No, I get, I get what she's saying. I get what she's saying. The whole notion of being conceived in sin. Um, it would go against the whole fact that them say Christ paid for our sins on the cross. That he so, gave us. so you wouldn't so the whole the whole, whole old trope that we've been told from childhood that you're born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Yeah. Part of that all right. Because you wouldn't be born in sin in it again because Christ did the ultimate sacrifice. But the old trope is still used to this very day. We're all conceived in sin. Which is not, but if you said it's to any religious leader, you know, you're, you're almost ungodly thing for God being hurt. But again, she makes a valid point. Mm, I think you guys yeah, probably it. still miss my question, though. Okay. What's yeah, Mazin, question? may I go back to art? I'm referring to back in Genesis, like, why do why did he still like give us sin even after adam and eve messed up like could he just not make us with sin um, um look at it this way or if or if, it, if or... hold on hold on all right, all right, give me a chance to answer right yeah contrary to what most people may or may not think of god god is very impatient very short tempered and is very quick to act. His son, Christ, is actually the, the softer angelic being, the one that, oh, how do I put it? He doesn't like to talk twice. 
Um, Adam and Eve, especially Adam. And I think this is why he was so ticked off. That him say, you know what? Since so you're willing to go against me, here, let me teach you something that you that that your generations will never forget. Because seriously, if you do follow the actions of God, He doesn't like to be defined, defied, or disobeyed. He's quick to anger. I know some party, some one might say, you know, I may be overthinking this, but if you really think about it, after all the years that Moses was in the wilderness, and you remember what Moses did that caused him to not see the promised land? Yeah, he lost his temper. And be, um, be, 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 be honest, yeah, I know, but be honest with yourself. Would you take that, that one act of disobedience, Worthy of him being kicked out of the promised land. No. After so many years of dealing with some unruly. Well, I said, I don't call no, them heathens. But and that again, me, that again kind of comes comes back to my question. Mm. He, 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 he got mad because he was a human. He reached his limit because he was a human. And because, I mean, and the man is like, a, this man is like a cut above the rest. Mm-hmm. Like a these, like a de- like a furlong above the rest, and this oh. one time, like, like oh. his hu- his human side started to show, and like, oh. uh, you know, uh, you, 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 you're too human. Hold on, sir. For quite a Moses was never a patient man. That's a nice thing too. God pick, God pick the he man was. who. Because, remember, hold on, remember there's several times when Mo- when the God wanted to kill the people, and Moses was like, no, like just just hold out a little bit longer. But 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 also we can show a point where when Moses found out that he was one of them and when the 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 um the Egyptian slave master was, was whooping one when he when his negotiation couldn't work, he killed him. Oh, rabbit hole again. Yeah. Rabbit hole. yeah. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Jenna wasn't the most patient man too. Just saying. But go ahead, I'm hearing you. But I mean, he 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 held out for a good little while still. But anyway, that's enough down the rabbit hole. But uh, I guess we might have to revisit the question with more people. I guess. Uh, Minister Aretha likes your friend tonight. Are she are she probably sleeping? She's down. Yeah, she's asleep. Uh so yeah. My next thing was the actually, concept of the devil. Nice. Oh, sir. Oh, actually, I can't talk. Nice. Oh. My next thing was the concept of the devil also makes no sense to me for quite a few reasons. All right. So, reason number Why? one uh, the concept of Lucifer becoming Satan. Uh, okay. If he knows God better than I do, I'm just simplifying the question. Why do you think he would wage war against God or go against God, knowing that he cannot win and it's quite literally a waste of his time and God's time? Any takers? Doc? Um in in japanese swordsmanship there used to be this very dark custom that i realized um mm-hmm. you know doing little research masters back then never really showed their apprentices certain um forging skills certain scrolls was forbidden and there used to be this dark dark custom where if the master ever caught his disciple stealing or reading from said scroll, a sword would be used to cut off one of those hands. The disciple was not was not expelled. It was more of a you know know your limits, know your limits. Kind of exercise. 
Mm -hmm. You're still, you are still his apprentice, but at the same time, you weren't. You would always have a mark to remind you of, to know your place. Um, I can say, well, you know, from the stories I've heard, Lucifer was close to the father to the point that he was helping him to create man. He, he did a lot of great things, according to the Bible. And there's nothing to say that angels, because I believe that also the angels had free will. The angels yeah. didn't have free will. Gabriel wouldn't loathe humanity. Again, that's what the book says. But, anywho, Lucifer felt like he deserved more praise. Or, I would say he wants to be like God. Honestly, and this is just my perception, I don't think Lucifer wanted to be God per se, but he wanted all the perks that came with being man who helped God create everything. And he scolded him because this is the great war of heaven in which because when Lucifer yeah. got cast out, it wasn't a lot of out. A lot of angels were also casted out. A yeah. lot. It wasn't just him alone. They cast out. So people need to also because Lucifer was a popular guy. Most people don't remember he was he was the man in charge of music. Uh, Lucifer was also a very charming and strategic kind of person. So when he did war, he rallied up people. And I honestly feel it wasn't in the strength that he wanted to be God. He wanted. Sorry, is somebody watching something? No, I just. Um, uh... Not to worry, fun. I'll make up a bag nice. Continue. Oh, the fun. Yeah, well, so like water. I know, right? But like I said, I believe I believe I he, want, he wanted the praise, but he wanted the uh, if not the praise, he wanted the recognition of being the guy mm -hmm. who helped God create everything. God sensed his ego and he put him in his place. And he didn't mm -hmm. take kindly to being scolded. Especially after all the hard work he did. And I like your reasoning. Again, th th I'm just looking at it from this from from a different angle. You know, I, I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I'm not. I'm not trying to say. Uh, I, just I know it. All, uh, based on how, you, when, what, what, how it makes sense, I guess. Yeah, I'm. You know, and nobody. And be honest with yourself. If you're ever looking from a realistic standpoint, nobody likes the idea of working so hard, so hard, and then. There's only one somebody I get all the credit. It really, even for just, even for just say, I mean, yes, thank you all for, but I couldn't do it without Dowie. You know, Dowie did an amazing job, et cetera, et cetera. Some people believe that you should be, you know, what, what I'm saying again, um, you should be humble in, and um, you don't need the praises. You know that you've done your Be a behind the scenes person. Yes. You should be proud. Two and, and one of the laws of power is never try to outshine the master. For those of you who have ever read 48 Laws of Power, one of the, one, I think that's the first law, never try to outshine the master. It has dire consequences. As, you know, and like I said, channel... Combine that with God's temper. Yeah. This wasn't going to end well. And you kind of opened the door for, for my other couple of questions, but I wanted to see if anybody else wanted to um, tackle this one. Knock yourselves out. Dr. Tori, or no? And so Lucifer and the Lord. Um, of course, the Bible Hello? speaks of, the Bible speaks of good and evil. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, Lucifer, in his deed as 
Miss a bad song with us, babe. We're not hearing you, Tori. Are you hearing me better now? A little. I am. I know what you don't hear, I don't mean I hear her. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so basically what I'm saying is that not necessarily what he really cast down, but he has a purpose. You understand? He has a purpose just like you and I. He has yeah, a purpose to thank you from your free will to do whatever whatever his bidding would be. Which kind of poses one of the questions. Do you think that we misinterpreted the Bible and he's just doing a job or is he actually a bad guy? I think he's just doing a job. Agreed. Like, I, I know I know some people might say I'm going to burn in hell for this, but <laughs> I, I would say, I would say, I don't really don't, I enough. really don't, don't think Lucifer really does get up one day and just decides, you know what? F this stuff. I'm going to just destroy everything that I I work so long and hard to help create, just because you know, my father kick off. That would seem so stupid to me, her personally. That would seem so stupid. Mark you, I get the All whole right. you know chaos, you know, throwing a monkey wrench in 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 him father's plans. I get that because he's pissed with good reason. You understand me, but. All I'm saying is, I mean, you shared in all of that work. You shared in probably one of the best creations ever created, man. Man is so perfectly designed. You understand me? We even have an immune system. You understand me? People don't understand how great man really was created. Yeah, and you guys, you guys yeah, touched yeah, a couple yeah, of points. Yeah, getting loud, very loud. I could be so like somebody. So like you know, I, I chilling near roadside. I, I Was that a know. car just now? Yeah, in that message is so like a roadside chilling near, and I'm outside, so that's saying something. What kind of fun do you have? I, I probably want your fun anyway. Yo, hold oh, on. I'm gonna turn down my earpiece. Is this any better? Anyway. Yeah, but yeah, you guys touched on quite a few points, Kai. Right. This, this, this was my logic, and I've legit been asking this since I was a kid, maybe like five years old or a little older. All right. Um, Dario, follow me. If, for if, 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 God, if, 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 if Lucifer was actually with God and he knows God better than I do, why would, and hold on, up, and as old as he is and as intelligent as yes. he is. I see no logical reason for him to ever war against God. Even if God was some evil, tyrannical person, Lucifer would have enough intelligence to know that it's just a waste of time. He's fighting a losing battle. And because common going, sense would dictate that oh, no, no, we, don't even, we don't even go into war in revelations and all that nonsense. That's because that's essentially nonsense and a waste of time as well. If God, if God is walking on, on, a, on a beach and a coconut slaps him on the head and God forgets that Lucifer exists, he will literally cease to exist just like that. Just for, for, for argument's sake. Without going to war, without the, the flaming sword or some chariot and horses and all that, all that fancy foolishness we see in Revelation. If God forgets that he exists, he will cease to exist literally like that. Because, so I mean, he... knowing that better than me and knowing that before, before me, why would why the hell would he go to war with, with God? And that, and I've always asked this. Because Sorry, as I was so trying to, to slightly segue. Um, if there was no reason to worship, you know, if there was no nothing that you needed to triumph over, why would you need God? Well said. I have to acknowledge that one. I mean, I mean, look about look at look at it this way. They say, oh, Jai wouldn't feel so good if there wasn't, you know, if, if there wasn't grief, you know. Victory wouldn't feel so good if you if you never know what loss felt like. True. So true. And 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 these are things that 
society really don't think about. Like when you lose weight and you feel so good in yourself, you see the results, you feel amazing. You know why it feels so amazing? Not because you lost the weight, because you because you remember it. The the facts say the process took you so many days, weeks, months of dedication. You know, putting your ego aside, waking up in the morning. You know, eating that nasty whatever. You know, drinking that tasteless whatever. You feel me? It's not. It's not the fact that you you you're down to that that magic weight. Is the fact that you went through some ish. You went through a process to be proud of what you attained. I'm just saying, you know, and people don't really look on things that way because yeah, they really don't. <laughs> you know, that's I mean, I know people. But can you imagine like a perfect world, like a perfect game of football where nobody could ever win? Exactly. Like the offense would always be perfect, so they would always get the ball up the field and, and the take a shot on target. Perfect, but so the defense is also perfect, it. so they would also stop you from scoring. Yeah, they would help me because every football team I should. Okay, okay, stop. Not because, not because, sir. I mean, so your team never make you happy, but not not sure that you don't need that energy there right there, sir. So anywho. Yes. But what I'm going to say is this, right? Um, I, I, I saw a video, believe it or not, tonight, where a guy was preaching that same thing. He was like, he, was like, he would hate to be the guy that only wins and never loses. Because if you, can, if you maintain a, um, a level where you can't get any better because there is no reason to get better, you get lazy. You get comfortable. And I, I, I learned this. Weird people, I've learned this. And the word comfort for a man is very dangerous. The word yeah. comfort for anybody is very dangerous. That word is so dangerous. We should do an entire episode on that word. That's what I'm saying. I'm thinking about doing an episode on that one word. Comfort is so dangerous. You understand me? The day you fall into that position where you say, when the words come out of your mouth, or your action scream, oh, that is comfortable now. You see, that we now do not like that no more. That we, that we just get up in the morning, drink him tea, you know, read him paper, watch the TV, go sleep. Yeah, man, you can't say that way you come, that way you put on weight. Comfort is the enemy, people. And I know that word sounds very, and I know, right? It's so, so, it's you know, word, so bad. I know, and I will be honest with you, the day I got comfortable is the day I started gaining, the day I started gaining all my weight back, the day I got comfortable. I and, can and, attest to that. <laughs> oh my so God. After 14, listen, after 14, all the work, all the sacrifice and everything, and mm -hmm. I got to... I didn't even get to my, my, I did not get to my, my destination weight goal. I did not get to that. Mm -hmm. What I got was the look of my body that I always wanted. Nice. And listen, did I ball? <laughs> did I ball out? I legit balled. Almost some ball, balled right out. And no, I'm not fat, so I ate everything that I wanted to eat. Mm-hmm. Not knowing oh. that the weight is going to come right back. No, I, no, no, I no, I don't think that's the I don't think that's the case. I think the case is once we've reached what we think or or even so when I reach there, it's just that we look at ourselves in the mirror and we feel good. But when the feel good reach a point where you believe or your mind, because the brain believes that the be brain. Forever. The brain is evil. And I, I know, I, again, let, hear me up before, before carnal everybody. Carnal mind, you can speak on the carnal mind. The mind is made to protect you. Your brain is designed to keep you safe. When you, and people, for those of you who are trying to learn a skill, lose weight, 
Your own brain is designed to fight you. The reason why you can't read past two pages before you start get sleepy, even if you just wake up, it's your brain, believe it or not. And I, I won't lie, I did some research into this and I couldn't believe it. The human brain is designed to keep you safe. And one of the byproducts of being safe is to become what? Comfortable. Oh my God. So when you get up in the morning and then you're like, you know what? Maybe I should just slide on for five more minutes. You, you deserve five more minutes. Yeah, man, five more minutes. And then you close your eyes. And then five minutes turn into 35 minutes. An hour, you jump up. Oh my God, oh my God. Same thing when it comes to working out. The brain is designed to sabotage you. It's, it's made to sabotage you. And a lot of people didn't right, even know. Rabbit hole. It's not rabbit hole, sir. This is facts. But, all right, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're going for religion though, but... I mean, yeah, one more, one more Bradshaw's bits. Shoot me. Anyway. Well, when off topics are more interesting than religion, that's what happens, but you know, maybe that's just me. Moving forward. I hear that you're going to. Yeah, we learn something though. Because yeah, right now I'm trying to I'm trying to learn German because it's a language I've always loved. I'm trying to learn Japanese and and Mandarin, but yeah. Moving on. Yeah, Japan. Jap I'll just know Japanese so I can watch anime without subtitles. Me too. But, yeah. Me too. And when I go to Japan, I, I oh, I want to be ready. Oh yes, I want to be ready. I see the yeah, rabbit get... hole. Yeah. It's deep. Man, and it's comfortable too. Moving forward before we, before we last in there. Anyway, uh, so yeah, another 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 question I had. Uh, if God is such a good God, why did Lucifer turn out bad? Have you ever seen people that you have done everything for and they still turn against you? What name so? That sounds like a baby mother, baby father thing. No. 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 <laughs> no. Believe me, sir. You have people who can speak to the fact that they took the very shirt off their back to give to somebody. Mm -hmm. You have people who figure a friend in need. So you have people who have a friend in need and they take their last money and give to that friend, and that money, that same money, is used to place a hit on them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, okay, but it is also a human trait. I say oh, so I because... But we I say so because, we again... Like we were made in his image. Image, yes. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Again, the devil is far more, is vastly more intelligent than we are. Vastly more wise than we are. Let me ask you a question. Based so on his, intelli think... his intellect alone. And I was about to and ask the, Again, as I said earlier, the fact that he could never win a war. Hold on. The fact that he could never win a war against God. I know that as a human who's only 20-something years old. He's eons of years old. And he knows this before me and better than me. So with his okay. level of intelligence, with his level of experience of actually walking with God, not knowing about God like I do, but actually knowing God, why do you think that he would actually be this bad guy that we've learned about? Well, I so again, it's a case where, God. as we mentioned earlier, like what's, the logic, like what's the logic behind it, basically? So the logic behind it is that the man is doing a job. Man is what? Doing a job. As we would have established earlier. If it's a case where he's doing a job, you are going to try to outperform your last performance, no? 
Mm. And you're going to try to improve on what you're doing and try to do it better. And because he is cunning, he is suitable for the position. Um, Mark, you, I believe that um, off of what Dowie said, why would he? Um, Mark, you, Dowie, you need to also understand he wasn't mm -hmm. the only angel or archangel created back then. You understand me? He was probably mm -hmm. one of the oldest ones. Yeah. And he said with his intelligence and his silver tongue and his persuasiveness, he, he amassed an army. He stood so out. Not only did he stand out, but for everything, even things that he was not responsible, he's being blamed. If you look your tour right now, G's on first, but then look for the devil at my door. Literally. That's yeah. true. True. People do dumb shit and blame the devil like, because they just don't have um, discipline or accountability. I won't lie. I won't lie. I, I've been there and then I had to be like, no, no, that's not fear. I'm, I, I, yo, I left the water and I forget. I'm not blaming the devil. I'm my fault. Yeah, I've learned even, and I know some people don't even think of that as a form of accountability where enough people end up throwing a whole heap of condemnation for the devil and the devil don't do a thing. It's just your backside that um, may come again. No, negligence. like, I've, I've said, I've said right. it jokingly when I was younger. I'm like, yo, the devil probably in Africa causing some kids to starve. What do you mean by the man make you mm. buck your toe? What do you mean by the, the devil made you cheat on your wife? I know, right? Uh. The devil probably uh, making probably cause a 9-11 right now. And you tell him tell him that he, he took a time out of his busy schedule just to make you cheat on your wife? Really? Uh, uh, Especially Christians. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why are you even coughing? Like I said, this is not something we know. We know so Christians full of shit. Uh. I think some of them just, I think some of them have put so much energy and so much belief behind everything that them read, that them forget for add the facts that they are human and not, you know, ascended to that level yet. So what they're doing, even though they are God-fearing people, they are still initially still human beings, which means they can still sin. This is why I'm confused when Christians behave like hypocrites. This is why I'm confused when they find out say the pastor I do things with the church sister them or the deacon, you know, I take money out of the to the church and <clears throat> you know people are doing things in the parking lot. I'm, I'm trying to be very respectful because I, I I can't go there, but you know. Again, trying to, to remember, say, YouTube is a very unfair place. But that, anyway, that, you're not, that time you're not me, so, yeah. But the point, the point still stands. There are people who will do these things repeatedly, and they won't see, the, see that this is a human flaw. From? And they won't embrace the fact that this is them being human, doing the wrong thing, going against their better judgment. And then quick to blame the devil. That's the of accountability. Fam. Just saying. Bradshaw's beats. Hey, I feel the spirit. Mm. Here, man. <laughs> hey, don't blaspheme around here, you know. No, I'm not blaspheme. God, God knows how he made me. He knows he knows I would have done this. That's, that's, that's just who I am. It's not blasphemy. It's just Dario being Dario. <laughs> Nice report. Yeah, bro. Like I, like I cannot, like, especially like as I when I was a like, younger, them church girls, bro, them church Johnny, and us church boys thought we were bad because we made rude jokes. I probably watched porn behind closed doors, and uh, when we actually say, "Yo, we can't hold it any longer," I went out into the world, learned that the girls. <laughs> We're eons ahead of us in terms of everything, Regin. And you'd never know it, you know, even if you were friends with them outside of church. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't know. 
Mighty God. Hence the yeah, song, them girl, you're wicked, them wicked, yeah. them wicked. Yeah. I know. Um, and I, I'm, let's I'm come back on the rabbit hole. Tori, Tor, can yeah, tell you, she's a church yeah. girl. I'm about to say that. Let's not go down let's that road. Let's come road. back from the rabbit Great hole God. and let's get back to speaking God. about... Let's dive let's in get first. Let's back to speaking about Lucifer. Yes. And... Uh, yeah, everybody is that she's deflecting. Hard or hard not. I'm not deflecting. I am on. I was about to die. 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 I was about to well, uh, what did you say? Doc is petitioning that I get a red card. What I said about Tory, who seconded it? Tory. Essentially, when he said, uh, yo, church girls, blah blah blah," and he said, "Yeah, not Tory should know because she's one of them." I'm like, so nobody is going to petition on that piece of shade, the top all in that he threw. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no seconds. Yeah, yeah, I second it. Yeah, yeah. You kind of, you kind of, you kind of walk into that one, the dog. Even for you kind of walk into that one. You kind of walk into. Mm. When, when, when trying to be a germ, oh, yeah. goes wrong. Oh crap! I saw lightning. Sorry. Yeah. We've been getting some while. strange lightning of late. According to the Christians, right. it's God coming again, but you know we won't go there. Uh, All right, since we're on the topic of religion, yeah, mm-hmm. we would have had multiple persons who, um, especially here in Jamaica, where persons said that the nib was the mark of the beast, then they said that the vaccine is the mark of the beast, right? I mean, personally, um, yes, just yeah. in general, overall. Oh. Yeah, people have right? a sense. Yeah. So every single thing essentially is the market of beast. But realistically, as persons would have highlighted, that if it's a case where it's the market of the beast, then everybody else has bigger problems to consider because the rapture would have left us. Right? I'm saying. So you know, you know what, you know what, I would have seen the market. Piece. cell phones like like really think about it for a second people this thing is so powerful and it has so much influence for some people if their phones were to stop working tomorrow they would literally literally lose their flipping minds again that's just my perception i might be wrong but so i'm just if, saying if you perceive you know, that then again, it's the same, the same applies. The rapture would have already taken place and we're left here um, waiting for the fire and the brimstone. Mm. Honestly, there's there's so much, there's so much about said Bible that I won't lie, it's hard to, to and I won't lie, remember the Bible was written in a very different time. Like, a very, very different time. Like, for instance, nobody, nobody modern, no modern Christian goer could truly, truly, if they were to follow the, the real, um, what's it called again? The real um, Sabbath, Sabbath keeping the Sabbath, none of us would ever survive it. It was so, it was so strict that, like, if you even step outside, you do. I'm not, I'm just giving an example. If you was just like walk up the street for no good reason, the amount of things are supposed to reach you. You know, you get beaten, beat up, and broke up our limbs, and a, like, there was so many solid punishments for breaking the Sabbath. Nowadays, Christians could never, could never adhere. You know. Survive well, it. There's a passage in the Bible where it says your wife should not help you argue with another man. Like you're legally allowed to kill her 
and then spit on dead body and then get a new wife. Yeah. There's a lot and, and, and a lot there's a lot of barbarians. Your wife was not what? If okay, so, so if Bradshaw and his wife were arguing with or so if me and Bradshaw were arguing and Bradshaw's wife mm -hmm. stepped in, he's supposed mm -hmm. to kill his wife. I think he's supposed to either keep dust on her, spit on, on her corpse, or crush her head with a stone, something along those lines, because she disrespected him and get a new wife. I think. Yeah. People, she be dark. Example, although, although I'm not really want to leave the realm of Christianity, have any of you ever sat down and actually read the Quran? Oh my Two pages. God. It is Bob. Barbaric, beyond barbaric. And I mean, the Bible is pretty barbaric as well. I'm not offending anybody. Are, uh, have you read it? There's certain, there's certain verses in that thing that will make you wonder if it's a, you know, if it's an animal you are dealing with. And society don't understand, say, Christianity is way more lenient. Than, than the different different religions across the world. And yet, people, uh, people, I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, Christianity has its flaws too. But if you were to take a look outside the realm of Christianity to the other religions, you'd be surprised what you're what you find in them. I'm just saying. No, I know some people say, oh, I'm picking the worst part of the Quran, and the Quran has so much other good things to it's not, it's not the fact that it has good things. It's just how severe the punishments were or are. No, my thing is this. Why are there so many bad things in it for its own people? I know, right? If you were and saying these bad things about strictly enemy, like if, so, if someone launches a nuclear bomb, if someone attacks your people, do this to them, fine. But if your own, if the own people of your own religion, of your own race, your own tribe, your own nation, do this, you must but do something woman, gruesome or heinous in both Christianity and, 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 and Islam. If a woman's face, her, her face, her hair, her, any part of her body that, that should be covered is shown, that is a, that is a public invitation to beat her. You don't even have to be her father, her family member. And when I talk like this, a one or two lick on it done, you know, done. We are talking about like a mob, mob beating. If she survives, it's good for she. She an invalid. If she survives, <laughs> she would pray to die. And I, I, yo, and I, I know, right? And don't do hit a very valid point. If her hear our fears, Beat her to death? Why can't we run and kick in her face in a dan? If, oh my God. And he's right, this is for their people. This is not for people, why? It's not even for outsiders who are trying to become them. This is for people who are born and raised in other culture, in, in a religion. This is close. Well, again, I'm just saying. I don't know if I nobody, but I, I was just, this is an open observation. No, I it's actually something I, I wanted to look at, look into next week, because I mean, <clears throat> in the Bible, God is responsible for more deaths than the devil. Huh? In the Bible, God is actually responsible for more deaths than the devil. Yes. Just remember that. Just remember the Holocaust was done because he, I believe God said it was his word. Ah, that's good. Well, we're not going there. <clears throat> What's up with my throat? Well, well, we're, not, we're not going there till next week. Ah, uh, crap. No, but you're gone. gone. We are, I hear, like, I talk about the survival days. Do you know how many people? Remember, God, no, God, no, God, no, God, no, what you're saying, I'm sure. God in the sky so, so that Aaron and other people. Oh, yeah, I remember. How much people you hear me the sun was setting and they were going to get away and Aaron said sun stand still and God didn't make it move until the job was done you understand there's so much and I said people think that God is this 
Oh, so God, I calm God, I calm down now. The, oh, the God, the God from the Bible, like I said, he killed the dude because the dude, while he was doing his brother's wife, he felt guilty of climaxing inside of her and then pull out and his seed hit the floor and he died literally. And I like him, give him a week or two. He literally kill him immediately. God, God is the God, God is the God center of what tonight Yagami I mean, wish he was. No, but God, but, but the point I'm trying to make is God couldn't even empathize with the fox. Yes, he feels terrible because at the end of the day, it's his brother's wife. God don't, God did not. God was only looking at it. He's just doing his civil duty and he should man up and just get the job done. That's how, and again, that's my interpretation of that part of the Bible. I may be wrong. I, I may think be wrong. you and I can, I think you and I can look at that, look at it like that. But remember that <coughs> in the Bible, in, in the days of the Bible, it was not that you had these types of interactions for leisure. These sure. types of interactions were for be fruitful and multiply and so sure. I tasked you to do a duty and you literally will willfully not do what I commanded you to do but death though Tori I mean so excommunicate I mean, me I understand what you're no. saying no. I understand what you're saying punish me I, I am saying that I am also human Where? and I empathize immediate death you ever watched anybody ever? Bam, bam. As, as, it, as it hit the floor, he died. It was not like, say, him get a chance to say, Boy, Father God, you know, my mind wasn't there. I, I, you know, I, I panicked. As it hit the floor, he died immediately thereafter. I don't ever wonder, like, why in mainstream media, and not even mainstream media, media overall, like, there's always two sides to the kind of the story of. The type of person God is like, yeah, it's always like I don't know if it's just me, but there's always this underlo underlying evil to towards the whole, whole the character is written, has good intentions, but so quick to anger someone who should, someone almost who, childish, someone who claims to be pure. I mean, take the supernatural series version of God, right? This man literally has. Different, different books where he writes the stories of how the world should end. And that is just day one. And when people so, reject him, the man say, oh, well, let's end the world now. Nigga, what? Let me, let me, give, you a, let me give you a better arm. Um, look on Lucifer version of God. The, the series, Lucifer. No, that, him no. Him literally not here. He might have, oh, they'll find a way. Nigga, what? Yeah, he's so uh, disconnected, like it's just yeah, like, like toys he, or something. He, he, to the point, to the point when his when Lucifer finally confronts him, you know him upon him so now. I, I remember that Lucifer beg him for an answer, and he he just won't answer. When he finally gave him an answer, you know what I'm saying to him? Say he does remember why he was so upset. So him say you leave your son in hell, and your pride. Would believe. Remember, said the man. Remember, said Lucifer did way to work for the man, in a, and the man right. punish Lucifer. I kick I him get out. that. I get, well, I get that. I get that. But Mark, Mark you, this no, is still no, my no, 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 no. Why did Lu it's go about the same thing? Why did Lucifer start the war in the first place? Go back all. all I'll go back to that. Yeah, like if God is so good, why did Lucifer get dark with him? Brother, the man go as far as to banish his own wife. You know, the goddamn... The man banish his own wife in our prison realm. I remember that. Brother, and then female reason for banish her. Oh, she wanted to be more favorites than, than, than the humans I created. Nigga, you don't even give a shit about them. What? Believe that now, people, we are, we are very Christian... We are all Christian-based. We are not, we're not atheists. Just, just putting that out there. You know, most of we grew up in Again, the church. I'm a Christian, so but it's, by it's, the end of this, you'll be, you'll be wondering you know, if I'm actually a Christian. Christian you know, we have our reasons for asking these questions. Calling, you know, because, I mean, God gave us a brain to think, and I'm just saying, 
if and be honest with yourself, you've never questioned the Bible. And if, if you've you never questioned the are, Bible, something is wrong with you. You are a hypocrite. I mean, I, I that's, not, that's, that's not my opinion, that's a fact. That means you've never questioned anything that's out of the that means, that means you have a question like, are we really the only species out there? What exactly happens if we go to another planet? Do we die? Do we live? Do we do this? It means you're just ignorant and think that, yo, Earth is all there is. Bruh, they're literally... How much Which is why humans planet? think that the world, the universe revolves around them. Bruh, there are literally several other planets that's literally surrounding Earth. So you know about... about, 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 about I get claustrophobic thinking about just how small the Earth is compared to these other planets. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't oh, happen the, um, for me. Alas, what, right. happens, what happens for me is this, that we have to, why most persons quest into space to find out more about other life forms, to find out if there are threats. So that's really my concern. Not just that they exist, but do they mean a harm? Fear. I mean, can always use can always use the material as you can say their weaknesses what about <laughs> you watch too much cartoon, but anyway. I have I have one last talking point after you finish. Okay. Yeah, so hurry up, because I need to hit the sack after. Yeah, because we're keeping this episode short. I say you I forgot say stuff fun, to do. Fun, you know, like, you're fun. You literally abuse yourself with this. Sweat, brother. My fun is answer. The place is wicked humid. It's yes, wickedly it humid right now. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, and I the last thing out. I wanted to discuss. For Christianity, based on where it originated from, how does a African god use his African godly powers to impregnate an African woman and get a blonde-haired, blue-eyed baby? What? Because the image of Christ. Because no. the image of Christ. Because the image of Christ. Don't let me. Hmm? Let me jump off here. Again, this is misinformation. This is misinformation. Um, you having done your own research or having been exposed to proper research would know that the time in which the place in which he would have been birthed, that meant that he would have been of the black race and therefore the depiction of the skin tone would have been something propagated by man. And I can do you one better. The image, the white man image of Christ is actually a monarch. It's a, it's a European monarch. Um, I, I think it was Michelangelo who painted him. Mm-hmm. And when they need and when they needed to to revamp or remake Christ's image, they used him. The blonde hair, blue eyes, straight nose, long hair, you know, that image. And they've been running with that. Till now, even when even when even when it's been debunked that Christ is for a real a black man. There are people to this very day, black people, who still believe that he is of the Caucasian persuasion. Even with all the evidence to prove that the mother of all creation is a black woman. A black woman can lay with a Chinese, Indian, Syrian, Lebanese, pick one. And she can give him a baby look just like him. No other race of woman can do that. Black woman has, has a genetic map, literally, implanted in her womb. Any man she takes, she can give him a pin and look like him. No other race of woman can do that. And even with all that information, and, and the Bible made it very clear, <laughs> we were created in 
his image. Come on, yo. And I mean, even, even in this very day and age, you still have people who still debate that really, really do believe that Christ is a white man. We have people that still, and they can't tell them this. Some people will go as far as say, yeah, blaspheme. Some people will go that far. Oh, well. They laugh. Some people really do believe that you're not supposed to discuss this topic. I laugh because it's what I got. I get condemned for. I used to get condemned for at my church, my friend. It's all nuance for me because, I mean, I used to feel. What's the word I'm looking for here? Embarrassed. Okay. Out of place for not being like the rest, not giving in to this Holy Spirit and all that, shedding tears for my Lord. Then I realized, what if I'm not the per type of person to shed tears or show emotion like that? Or maybe it's because I'm only truly vulnerable when I'm by myself. Because as far as I'm concerned, being in a church and showing vulnerability is probably the worst things that can ever happen. So in my point of view. It's really, it should have been the opposite. And that's, that's the part what really hurt me. When you when, when go to pastor and I tell him a deep conflicting issues and then use it. Against next, Yeah, preaching sermon. And I, and I remind the congregation, the people that do this and people that do that. And then you see him and wonder why. Young people don't want to come to the church. Young people avoid the church. Let's go further. Men, men in general, majority, if not a lot of them, have stopped coming to the church. Because um, there's a deep-seated fear in a, when it comes to the church now. You can't talk to elders. You can't talk to the pastor. You can't talk to nobody right now. As soon as you talk to them, then bring them bring your, your business go get a pastor the pastor make the whole church know why bother come to, why bother come to somewhere that's supposed to be a refuge for the broken you go to church you healthy people don't go to church you know and that's not people don't understand church is for the for, for the people who church is like the upgraded version of a high school but it's not Supposed to be. It's supposed to be. It's supposed, not supposed to be, like, be Bradshaw, but I mean, years have gone by. For the for the spiritually and the the morally broken. Yes. That's why you go to church. Honestly, yeah. people don't even know why they go to church. Honestly, yeah. let us feel that's the whole give offering here and give offering there and all that makes you godly. People mm -hmm. forget the main reason. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, funny enough, funny enough, people forget that. Yes. Living a life of sin. Yeah, okay, cool. But do realize that God does talk to you by yourself. He doesn't speak to people like, or, or from my perception, I like to speak to people when they congregate themselves in one group and doesn't and they don't say anything. It's like a one-on-one -on -one talk. That, that's from my perspective, at least, because we've always seen it as it's you and him. Nobody else is not supposed to know this information, but you and him. Because when other people know, it tends to not end well. Because I've seen fights broken out in a church. I mean, I've had, I mean, I've had situations where I can say now that the father didn't did intervene and then went against his own judgment. Mark you, I'm not the kind of guy, and I won't lie, you know, I have been to church in a very long time. But there have been situations where the Lord says, say, me about to do something very something that's going to either cost me or hurt me. And I hear him back on my head telling me, oh, go, turn around, no matter go. One year, my wife came down um, to visit me, and <clears throat> she said, okay, we're going heading towards Three Mile, and, you know, she said she want to taste this party because she, she found that taste is, right? <clears throat> And on the way on when uh, Marcus Garvey Drive, two to three times, I hear a voice in the back of my head say, oh, go straight, don't stop. And at the second time, the voice said it again, he's like, 
you know, honey, I think let's go home first, you know? And she go against it. And me, she made me, she made me doubt the vice. And the third time was when I was at the stoplight to turn to go past this. And I went against it. And they stole her bag with her money and her laptop from the parking lot. And there's, there isn't a camera in the parking lot to say them catch nobody. So they got away with that and, and some important information. And I'm like, I'm going to tell her. Like I said, you remember when I told you, say, you know, we shouldn't have stopped? It was a six, I think it was God telling me not to stop. And I, I went against the Father. I chose you and my own personal doubt. I, I, I don't blame the devil no goddamn boy. <laughs> It's not the father type, yeah. It was mine. Sure. Like accountability for that shit. I should have been the man in the situation and say, you know what, we are going home straight. I don't blame the devil for that shit. I blame me for that yeah. shit. That's how I look on things now. But again, funny enough. Look, so, so, like said, so, like you said, doctor, I agree. The devil, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. God does talk to people one on one, He does. He yeah. really does. I mean, maybe not as direct as people think he's like we're talking directly to each other. But he does talk. He ha like, like like in Lucifer, he has his own indirect way of telling people, hey, this is what I need you to do, or this is what I think is the best way. Yes. Yeah. Well, that, but I think the problem that people have with that is that most of us tend to want to be having our hand held. Surprisingly, considering how independent the generations have become. <laughs> you think, well, I'm independent, you say? Oh, no, I don't, no, no, like I say independent, but I, 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 I say independent, but I have to scoff because most people don't even know what the hell independence even means. Grown people, grown people want a, want a pat on the back for paying bills and and I'm like, um, congratulations on being an adult. Welcome. Welcome to the club. Welcome to being an adult. This is what it means to pay bills and make sure you do this. And yeah, you don't get a medal. And the, the day they made this, this nonsense notion, say everybody for showing up, you get a participation medal. That, that in itself, to me, is one of the wickedest things mankind ever do to itself. It's eliminated the whole, the whole premise of if you lose, you're supposed to learn from the loss. But if you get a medal, it, right, it takes away the sting. No. How you know? How you know? How you know that you're yeah. failing? If, if you yeah. still get, you still get something. If you get, yeah, yeah, so some of it. No, I mean, I said same. So um, well, recently oh. I didn't have one little promotion of going in. Like, mm. yeah, if you if you, uh, you get good survey from your customers, blah blah blah, promoters, you know, you say they say you win something, blah blah. Mm -hmm. I was just doing my normal civic duty of ignoring everything and everyone, as per mm -hmm. usual. Mm -hmm. And then we hear my name call, oh, Mr. Doctor, you want a fryer? I'm saying, huh? You want a deep fryer because you've been promoting the company? I'm saying, huh? Like, and then we look for my stats, 100 across the board. I mean, I say, what? I in my head, me I say, I despise these people so thoroughly, and I'm that good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to what? be fair, I, I mean, to be fair, I don't try to be an asshole and all my cars, but sometimes when them just start get to me, they just say, yo, you have two options: option A, option B, and then there's a special option C where you go to hell and don't call back. Simple. And you still got that job? Oh. Because the simple fact is that, like, I understand what these customers go through, and I understand mm -hmm. shit is yeah. service. But at yeah. the end of the day, you can't expect when everything goes wrong, you expect someone to come and fix it for you. And there's a level of accountability that needs to be done for contractors who create the houses that some of these people live in. Because honestly, American houses are some of the worst houses I've ever seen. Especially the ones that are built from scratch, because the material used is not conducive to technology. And I've proven that time and time again. Depends on which state still what me answer. 
Oh, especially yeah. Georgia and Kentucky. Yeah, you know, the hillbilly yeah. states. Oh yeah. Ja, yo, ja, yo, Georgia is just a is is just a spark, and the whole house gone up. There's no way to save that house. If it lights, it be gone. There is Bruh. no there, there's no Bruh. concrete in Bruh. the making of that. A, a, like weekend gone. I literally had a storm tracker for the US on my computer. Just a track where the storm them go. I just see the whole storm is a turn tail like. The storm would do that enter from the west. Mm. And I go right along the north border and decide, oops, you turn right to Georgia. And I'm like, bruh, what? Like, is the water that warm? Well, probably. I would say this. You hear me? As it relates to the Bible and everything, um, the talking points, um, it's nice to have to have this kind of discussion and people don't get into them them weird out feelings and start you know quoting all the way we are gonna hell i mean yeah yeah, yeah. the usual stuff in the comment section will say we are gonna hell yeah Can't but yeah yeah but then i already know that me as one of the administrators yeah. 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 topics i'm gonna just respond and say well there's lots of room if you ever want to join you know some asshole coming like that because well, when, well, I, when people well, say stuff like that it mm -hmm. add up where you're making a good point you're just stating something to mm -hmm. try to hurt our feelings and i don't know if you realize this right now but bradshaw sto stone cold are you like Sean Michaels and me are like the un unhappy version of Batista? We don't give a shit. <laughs> because honestly, when you say, like, I actually respect Stone Cold, so yeah, man, I complain. I like, no, like, bro, I literally yeah. played military yeah. play in you know, one of the most yeah. egotistical yeah. rugby teams. Yeah. Yeah. Playing in one of the most egotistical rugby team, and you expect me supposed to be hurt by your feelings because you don't like what I say about your God. I thought God was for everyone. Sir, sir, we went to Casey. I don't know what I don't know what men I get tell. Feel me? I don't know what men I get tell for do. I get I don't know who men I get tell for do it too. I don't you understand me, son? So again, but I'm wife they say, oh, personal insults don't really feel me like that. Real talk. Like I saw let me tell everybody, I don't pass Casey, I survived Casey. I say that. <laughs> <I'm> so, <laughs> Pass Casey, I never passed. I survived Kingston College. You feel me? So again, <laughs> you no. Know, and the funny thing is, iron sharpens iron. The same thing with the man them do. A Casey, are the same thing they're doing at the military. Same thing I'm doing at the army. Probably you worse. Man, tell you about your mother. Man, tell you about your father. How much man jumping your mother? How much man jumping your father? You know how much man jumping? How much man jumping are you? You, you know. You understand me? So again, I take all of, I take all of the, 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 the jokes, the, the fights as, as, as building blocks. And this is why I, I suggest, you know, grow thicker skin, goddammit. Nobody likes a softy. Even the softies don't like softies after a while. True. Sure. Get going to them. <laughs> Because you look for a point a couple of years because I, I can't admit that I was soft, very soft. At least yeah, man, years man, I was operative word to every man his own, but like I said, you have to get you bigger have, skin and surviving. You have to come out of your shell eventually. Eventually, um, well, I wouldn't say I came out of it with the healthy, the healthy way because yeah, but regardless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with that being said, um, I'm glad that we can have these discussions, you know, just like the way, you're not the only one, my friend, you're not the only one who has multiple questions that, you know, just because... Well, again, I've literally been asking these questions since I was probably five, six years old. Uh, Bro, you're not the I literally have person. a story written up, that is written you're about these characters, Lucifer and God. And somebody comes and condemn me and I'm comment them. And I'm like, man, I come to and literally have a conversation with them. I say, do you actually believe the bullshit you write to me sometimes? Because honestly, the way you write it, you make your, your quote scriptures and this and that. But 
do, do realize that they are having wars fought because of their beliefs in God and what God would want, right? And then shut up. No, I have to ask him. I have to say, do you know that the do you know that religious leaders literally pray for soldiers to go and murder other people, right? In the name of God, right? Do you know that there have been Catholics? Um, Catholics, um, anyone? Not just not as a Catholic alone, sir. Sir, when Italy was invading, was trying to conquer part of Africa, the Pope literally prayed over the Italian army. You hear what To go and try and capture Ethiopia. So I'm just saying, sir. And 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 that was like recent in, in, in the 20th century. Yep. Well, 20th century, right? I think so. Yeah. But again, and and. To every man his own. I'm not saying the I'm not saying the Catholic um faith is a terrible one, but good people do terrible things too. And this is the part of the equation that most people don't want to address. You can be a good person and do dark things. Isn't that but isn't that the part that isn't that the part that you accept that's human though? But some no, but some people no, but the thing is people and, and again. This whole philosophy say, just because you're an A, that means you can't make a mistake. That in you know, itself is a toxic way of looking at yeah, life. Yeah, people, this is why, and this is why when, and when, people, and when people fall off or make a mistake, instead of we being sympathetic or understanding, we immediately murder them. We immediately, oh, you see, you see. Me know, me know the one that we was always at this and that. And the one that was like him a bright boy and, and the way we, all boy doctor, me know a long time I saw him go on. Me know a long time. Because that can never be said. <laughs> just saying. Just because saying. for one, Dario is going to be like, okay. And first of all, I have never considered myself to be bright, but I get your point. But yeah, hold on. Me, uh, something in the bottom of my brain is just what I say. Uh, mm. uh wait, wait, wait. I try to forget the word. I'll continue. All right. Good. Um, even though we don't want to draw this out too long. Ah, no, I remember what I say. All right. You know, this kind of go going on like a dark territory. Um, for you, man. Every time you lift your hand, more, more spots appear, bro. Shit, son. Half your shot so. God damn. Um, and the phone is on. God. Damn. How far the place is hot. How far are we going to make a mistake? I said we can install an AC here. No, as in the AC is here, but the guy hasn't installed it. The boxes are in the room. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Well, on it. Though, I'm supposed to have a friend. Which part of Port Mary? Really? I'm not sure. All right. I have a friend. I said we can link. I mean, we wouldn't name him Tanko, but. He um he does ACs for a living. Installation. I bought them from my uncle. He works at CAC, and the dude not come install the AC. He's supposed to install my uncle's AC plus the ACs in my room. May I may I show thank you? My you uncle's know? legit behind lives legit lives behind me. The house behind me. Question. So on the PM on the give the money. If not, you know, we can. As in, I for the AC itself, no, but for, for the installation, sorry, for the AC itself, yes, for the installation, you may get that yet because it's not being installed. All right, cool. So we can show a well then. Um, and a Christian youth, very reasonable, and prepare yourself for, for, for while, while, while installing, you're going to have a very, very be- religious conversations. And oh, you're a friend of Bradshaw? Yeah, man, you're a you friend long time, man. And, and then it starts. Can't help you. But anywho, yeah, make me show sure this. Make me show sure it. I'm making no more. I said, I can set the link. Please, hot. I see that, sir. I see that. It's wicked. You, I don't know if my face is glistening, but I'm I'm sweating. I'm, I'm surprised that the, the second city that is closer to the devil than nobody else is not as that sort of wrong. <laughs> Bro, that is like, it's like hell, Fort Moore. Texas, Florida, then my, then Jamaica. You miss out Vegas, but I think give you. No, Arizona. Arizona as well. There you go. Phoenix. So like, li- the the like, capital is literally named Phoenix. That should tell you everything <laughs> you need to know. 
I think somebody mm. made the, the joke came from Chronicles of Riddick Part One. Say right. if they own Fort Moore and Hell, they'd rent out Fort Moore and live in Hell. Brother, but, I will never forget when my original comment tell me say, yo, I will left foot car we were in Arizona once. I said, yo, I will left me do. I said the I said the damn Phoenix from Chronicles and Nana Nani I just appear over my head and just tell me say, yo, may I go get burned. <laughs> Shoot. And the worst part, I wouldn't feel so bad because it would make sense. No, because yeah, make no the, sense. Blast, the blast is capitalist, literally in Phoenix. I'm surprised they don't have a statue on Phoenix somewhere. It should bro. be a national bird. Should. Yo, every state has its own flag. Most people don't even know that. I know every that. I knew that from when I was a kid. First flag. North I don't know the flags, flag, but I know that they have their own flags. Here. Now, now there's national treasure. Here. National symbol and all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. All the states have them on. And Florida zone is a bear. And I don't know. Not, you not, you not have bears in Florida? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, there's bears in Florida, but not not like I'm um, like close and more out like more out in the 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 I thought bears are like more like the, the Dakota section. Mm-mm. You have bears in Florida. Bears, deers, antelopes. Uh, the thing is this though. There's a lot of land that nobody's using in Florida, like a lot. I'm talking 50s for 57. I know you guys are like, 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 a, like a mini Australia, though. Kind of. The most the occurring most animal that keep on scare Florida people are the damn alligator, them because the time these alligators see light in our house, they decide, oh, let me go in the pool and have a bath. Bruh. Stories upon stories of alligators just a steer from people and then just open their fridge and the door lock. And it's not even like so the door is a hidden door where you know so you have to open the door, it's a see through. So you and the alligator, yeah, and the alligators are so tamed. Because they don't care because they know say so if then the, the, I'm convinced the alligators know say so if they get killed, they might get locked up. You can't do nothing to them. Almost no, all animals. No of animal in America. If you even touch yeah. one or even say, oh, it attacked me first, I must say, you should have just reported it. No, no, go, sir. Well, there's only one animal that you, you can literally make a business out of up here. Iguanas. You can kill them and remove them because iguanas are a problem here. They eat people's vegetables, they breed a lot, they, they roll the bankings on the so, and there's this guy named Iguana Man who is literally teaching people how to. Yes, sir, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> I pity you, my friend. I really do. Why, rough? The funny look at it, it depends on tree and it's not even done nothing. <laughs> yeah, man, it's short time to come off eventually, man. <laughs> I believe you. It's God, just inappropriate to be like shirtless in front of the camera, but is it? Is it yes, really? Well, but you know what? I want to be professional ish. <laughs> well, yeah, people park on the first and time, you know, say, oh, most of them most are my germs, you know, so <laughs> they take a very short demo. I say, oh, it's not out of character. Plus, it's not, not like I have like the decent chest and the abs and things. So. You understand, fam, when I get When I get there, shirtless every episode. So today, no, controversial yeah. topics. Yeah, go too far. <laughs> yeah, go too Sir, what? if you are in a relationship and if bad, then you are married, I know she will kill you. So, sir, she, sir. she'll be right beside me. Sir. Yeah. More, 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 more the body so, so chiseled that if you take this off, me have got to tell you, rip it off. That's cool. Yeah, so that's so so yeah. All right. So let's say we oh. reach 100 videos and by then the body is chiseled. Brother, you have 100 shirts because I replaced. <laughs> Man? Yo, 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 I just, I just, I just send in the P.O. box. Come and know, say, there'll be a lot of more famous. Subscribe and save on Amazon. Yeah, well, well, then, well, well, then, by then, by then, we'll so, probably have mer- merch. So, so, so we'll put the chat of a running gun. Yeah, All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Anyway. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, I uh, well, should I said this at the beginning of the video. We need to start saying it at the beginning of the video. 
um thank you for watching leave us a like it, it does help us subscribe if you want to uh share please. share please. please give a comment as well good bad in between you know, uh, you know for the reason why we, we, we're not getting enough subscribers you know what this saturday i'm gonna make the funny the funny compilation a controversial topic video so far I'm going to do it because coming back to them people are not nah, taking serious. Yeah, you can't take out the thing from the intro with the with the with the with the with the me. Yeah, with the yeah. First of all, I forgot. First of all, there's a certain there's a certain clip that I will not include because they're, they're out there already, but I know if Bradshaw sees it on Instagram, he will surely find my house and finally Good. end my puny existence. So Good man. Good man. See? Bradshaw doesn't know Pope, doesn't know Mobius, so he can't find your house. Sir, sir. I'm sure Bradshaw is intelligent enough to recognize when Xavier Doctor is at a house. Because he's going to see the car and he's going to say, wait. That looks familiar from a picture he sent in the group. Oh, yes, yeah, so the fossil live. Two days later, you see my body buried in my backyard with no dirt. Good man. Head first up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have dirt on Bradshaw, you know, so Bradshaw can't touch you. You think so? I am you not entering this conversation. I know this much of your business. You think so? I know <laughs> this much of your business, sir. Sir, sir, I went to KC. Knock yourself out. <laughs> I went to Kingston College. Knock yourself out. I know the part of the conversation. Mumba, I know this much of your business. Yeah. Knock yourself out, sir. I went to Kingston College. Because, because I am the video editor and I like my life, I will take no chances. Good man. Good man. Anyway, again, guys, Jesus of mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share with a friend, share with your grandma. Maybe she yeah, share it with your grandma. Maybe she can cuss us out about our, our, um, our views and religion. If the uh, churches in Jamaica have hashtags, I will gladly abuse them so they can comment that we are going to hell because oh, traction, yes, yeah. you know. Hashtag we're all going to hell. Anyway, I'm uh, going to use that. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, stay safe and stay awesome. Uh, before we leave, do we have a topic to give them to look forward to for next week? You have one or, or me? I mean, I've been thinking about one to an extent, but I think we've kind of covered most of it, but, uh, we have I'll, time. I, I, I'll explain, uh, during the week if I continue to see certain trends while I go to work, so it's in the works. Okay, then. Well, but, uh, yes, it's been a pleasure. I'm got to hit the hay because I have to get up around five o'clock. So me too. Oh, stop recording. Yep, that's what I'm doing.